game short of the goal for Eastern. Our Alyssa Charleston was there. She's got more with the Eagles. Keith, it's one thing to say you have a chip on your shoulder, but to do something about it is something entirely different. Eastern Washington had a big one after missing out on the FCS playoffs last year, and they used it, becoming one of the top two teams in the nation, competing in the national championship today. But they were up against a powerhouse in North Dakota State behind a record setting quarterback. Eastern never let them get too far away. They fought to the end. Uh, we didn't play well enough to win today, and uh, it's unfortunate. I feel like I, I failed the seniors. Um, and I've got to do more, but uh, we played our tails off today. Uh, we fought through a lot of adversity, uh, whether it be bad playing, bad coaching, uh, penalties. We had self-inflicted some of the wounds that we have. It's just been an absolute honor to play for the Eastern. Uh, when I signed here, this is exactly what I expected to be in the national championship game. Obviously, it didn't turn out how we wanted it to, but it's just been an absolute blast to, to wear this Eastern uniform, and we'll all be EKGs for life. So, I mean, it hurts, like, losing, just especially how we lost. And, yeah, that's, that's about it. A lot of emotion on the field after this game. Some smiles because they're proud of how far they've made it this year, but obviously a lot of hugs and some tears because they're saying goodbye to a loaded senior class that's helped Eastern Washington climb to the top ranks of the FCS. But the guys coming back next year know it just means something really good to build on for next year. Reporting in Toyota Stadium with the Eastern Eagles, Alyssa Charleston, KXLY4 Sports.